The Minister of Transport and Highways, Bandula Gunawadana, yesterday spoke on the various initiatives taken by the local government to shift to an energy-based transport system, adding that advances are essential to be materialized in the industry in order to motivate in investors in mass-producing e-vehicles. Concurrently, State Minister of Transport, Lasanta Alagiavanna, commented on the pilot project implemented on adding 50 electric buses in a bid to create a high-quality and efficient transportation system in the country. The Minister of Transport and Highways, Bandula Gunwardana, attended a national consultation meeting on accelerating the transition to electric mobility for public transport in Sri Lanka yesterday. Addressing the inaugural session, the Minister mentioned the various forthcoming events in relation to the deployment of electric buses in the country. Comprehensive long-term vision for electric vehicles policies is still required. A comprehensive document with legal backing will help to bring all except related to electric mobility together. The policy at national level will show way forward to all the initiatives across the country and it will be helped to integrate the standalone efforts to collaborative initiatives on the technical side. There are essential improvements that must be made in battery technology to boost makeup of electric vehicles. Most significantly, there are not enough recharging and refilling points, while a larger part of the infrastructure needed to get these vehicles. The aim is to have enough charging and fueling points with other requirement infrastructure so that investors and companies find worthwhile to mass produce vehicles. Meanwhile, State Minister of Transport, Lasanta Alagiavana, expressed his views on the implementation of electric buses in the country during a press conference held at the Presidential Media Centre. <laughs> Basata Pachari Takagima Aramakarla Tibino.